Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com and in this video I'm excited to show you five chat GPT hacks or tips and tricks that I find myself using on a regular basis to improve my outputs inside chat GPT. Now, I'm very aware that the term hacks uh, is very clickbaity when it comes to chat GPT, AI, marketing, you know, whatever the, the term is that you throw hacks in there for. So uh, the reason I bring this up is I'm very confident that the five hacks or tips and tricks I'm about to show you in this video will actually provide real value. And if they don't, please give me a dislike or let me know in the comment section below. So I'm gonna dive right in here. So the very first chat GPT hack that I wanna show you is an expert in persuasion and negotiation, basically using this as a tool to help you negotiate or persuade for whatever your situation is. And I'm going to copy and paste all of the prompts that I use in the video description below so you guys can quickly access them. So here's an example of a prompt of what I mean by this. So I'm saying, you are an expert in persuasion and negotiation. I need help with a situation. So it's important here to call out that I gave it a persona right at the very beginning, calling ChatGPT an expert in persuasion and negotiation. So here's my situation in this example. I'm a marketing manager in negotiation with my boss about getting a raise. Now, this is applicable to a lot of people. You don't have to be a marketing manager. You could be any employee trying to negotiate a raise with your boss. It's a very touchy and sensitive topic. I want to craft a persuasive email to ask for a raise while maintaining a positive and respectful tone. Help me outline the key points I should convey, emphasizing the benefits of how this mutually benefits both parties since I have helped generate a lot of business for my company. So one or negotiation 101, you always have to have some sort of leverage to help the other party in the negotiation. Draft a compelling email that aims to achieve a favorable outcome in negotiation. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter here. And here it's giving me an outline of key points to convey. So introduction and gratitude, highlight achievements, highlight your value, request for a raise, mutual benefits, closing with positivity. So it gives you some high level points here, which I like. And then it actually goes into the draft email. It gives you a subject idea, request for salary review. And then it gives you placeholders, which is cool. So obviously you'd go into the placeholders and fill in whatever your boss's name is or whatever the placeholder is asking you. Uh, the email's pretty short here, about you know four or five short paragraphs. Uh, best regards, includes my name. Um, and then it has all sorts of other little details here. Now, obviously, if you don't like it, you can just play around with it. Message it back and say, I don't like how you crafted this part. Can you help me with this? Um, and you can just kind of mess around with it. But long story short here, guys, that is hack number one, is using ChatGPT as a helper in negotiation and persuasion um, because almost anything in life is negotiable. The other point I want to make on this is that there's probably already a lot of custom GPTs available. And now that these are free for everyone to access, you don't have to be a member of ChatGPT Plus to use custom GPTs. Uh, if I type in something here in the GPT store about persuasion, if I can spell it correctly, um, I would be shocked to see, yeah, so persuasion, chat GPT, this has over 1,000 use cases. Um, some of these aren't, you know, some of these aren't very popular. You could do negotiation and we'll see what happens here. Um, but long story short, guys, you can just look for one already, negotiation GPT. So here, you're expert in salary, car buying, conflict discussions. Uh, this would be a good one to look at too. And I can definitely leave a link to the negotiation GPT in the description below as well. Or you could even create your own custom GPT, putting your own personal situations and your personal you know, job or whatever you're trying to negotiate in a custom GPT so that it's tailored for what you're trying to get the response to. But long story short, guys, again, that is hack number one is leveraging chat GPT as your expert negotiator. So the second chat GPT hack that I want to show you is really leveraging this tool for ideation. So what do I mean by this? Well, I always tell people at the very least, if you don't know how to use chat GPT or where to get started, you should always be asking these tools for ideas or help on various topics. So in this example, let's say you want to make money on the side through a side hustle or start an online business. That's a very hot trend now. Um, so here's an example of a prompt that you could use for ideation in this scenario. Now, if this is not your scenario, you could definitely take points from this prompt and then just find and replace whatever your situation is or what you need help with. So it says, I need you to be an expert in entrepreneurship and making money online. I'm looking to start an online business and need your help. What are some ideas for good online businesses and lay out the pros and cons of each? It looks like I spelled businesses wrong here. So let's make sure I have that correct. And then I'm going to hit enter. And here what it's going to do is it's going to provide me with all sorts of ideas for online businesses and then lay out why or why not uh, I should go after one or why I shouldn't go after one. So here, 
e-commerce store. Definitely an idea for making money online. You can make a lot of money doing e-commerce and it gives you the pros and cons of each uh, competition, inventory management. Uh, forgot about customer service. That's definitely a con of running an e-commerce store. Uh, affiliate marketing. I'm a big fan of affiliate marketing. I've made over six figures doing affiliate marketing. Definitely a viable option for making money online. Drop shipping, online courses and coaching, freelance services, print on demand, blogging and content creation, app or software development, virtual assistant, subscription box service. So it's giving you all these ideas to kind of get the juices flowing. And you can even follow up by saying, um, great, these are all good ideas. If you had to choose one, what would it be and how do I get started? And you can keep expanding the conversation with ideation. So it says, if I had to recommend one, I'd start with online courses and coaching. Steps to starting an online course and coaching business. Identify your niche. Define your target audience. Create a course outline. Develop your course content. Choose a platform to host your course. Set up your website and channels. Launch your course. And the best part about this is you can then leverage ChatGPT to help you with each one of these steps. So let's say I wanted to get started with an online course or coaching business. Then I could say, um, great. These are good points. What do you recommend for a niche to get started in an online course and coaching business? And now you're using it to ask for ideation on certain niches. So it says choosing the right niche is for your online course is crucial. Here's some recommendations based on current market trends, demand, and profitability. Digital marketing and social media, personal finance and investing, health, wellness, and fitness, technology and programming. You see the gist here. So now it's giving me ideas for different niches after I ask for ideas on certain things that I can do to make money online. And you see where I'm going with this is you can just keep asking it and asking it for idea after idea, and it'll keep helping you until you finally decide to take action on which route that you want to go. So long story short, guys, that is the second hack that I would highly recommend you do inside ChatGPT is truly leveraging this tool for ideation. So moving on to my third favorite chat GPT hack, and that would be summarization. Now, if you're in the world of SEO, there was actually a major leak from Google's search algorithm uh, that basically went through different ranking factors and all sorts of different things. It's a good article here from iPollRank.com. Um, and this is a really, really long article. I don't have time to sit here and read through every single thing, which is the hack that I wanna show you in this example. So if I go back to chat GPT, here is the prompt that I'm going to use to help me summarize at a high level what that article said and some recommendations on next steps that I can take to improve the SEO on my websites. So here is the prompt. I need your help with summarization. There was a major leak in Google's algorithm that explains SEO ranking factors, and I need your help to summarize this at a high level. Provide five bullet points of the most important takeaways from this leak and how I could use this to improve the SEO on my websites. And I also provided the URL of that link, and I'm gonna hit enter. Now, even if you're not in the world of SEO, you could definitely apply this to anything. If there's a long article or if there's a PDF or just something really long that you don't wanna sit through and read, you can use this similar prompt to help help you with summarization. So here's what it said. It searched one site. So now it has the ability to analyze and scrape URLs. And here are some of the takeaways that it had from that dark document. 14K ranking factors, domain authority exists, click data usage, sandbox for new sites, Chrome data, all very useful information if you're in the world of SEO. Well, now it's giving me recommendations to what I should do to improve my websites. Comprehensive optimization, focus various on and off pages, authority building through high quality backlinks and content, user engagement, trust signals for new sites, browser data utilization. So all really good high level points here that I basically just did in a one paragraph prompt and asked ChatGPT to help me summarize that versus taking you know maybe 30 minutes, if not longer, to go through here, read this, and then try to write notes and figure out what were the most important points like we had to do previously before these AI tools existed. Um, so just a really useful chat GPT hack. Now I'm going to do another quick example here if you have a PDF. So what you're going to do if you want to summarize a PDF is you're going to start a new chat, click this icon here, click upload from computer. Now before I do that, you should also know that you can actually access your Google Drive or your Microsoft OneDrive if you want to access a file from there. But I'm going to upload from my computer and I'm going to attach the Bitcoin white paper. So now I'm going to go back to my previous chat and I'm going to ask it something similar. So I'm gonna copy and paste this chat, go back here, 
looks like I have to reattach the file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly. Attach the Bitcoin white paper PDF. Get rid of this link. We don't need that. And I'm going to say, I need your help with summarization. Let's see here. Provide, provide five bullet points of the most important takeaways from this PDF and how I could use this, let's see, for investment advice. And I also want to include some context of what this PDF is about. So I'm going to say, I need your help with summarization for or of this Bitcoin white paper PDF. Provide five bullet points of the most important takeaways. And let's hit enter here. So now what it's using is it's using its vision components of this attached document. And then now it's giving me key takeaways from the Bitcoin white paper. Decentralized trust model, proof of work, uh, double spending solution, incentive for participation, privacy and anonymous or anonymity. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, but now it's giving me some investment advice based off of these five high level points. Uh, decentralized nature as a hedge, long-term security and value, supply limitations, network growth and adoption, incentive structures. So long story short, guys, that was a super quick example with this PDF, but I want to show you that you can use this for both PDFs and really long articles, and you can leverage ChatGPT to help summarize these at a high level. Very, very important use case here. So the fourth chat GPT hack that I want to show you in this video is repurposing content. So I'm going to paste the prompt of what I'm talking about here. So in this example, I recently did a YouTube video on is chat GPT plus worth it. And I'm actually going to go to my channel here in real time so I can show you what I'm talking about. And you can do this for any YouTube video. So on my channel, I did a video looks like about a month ago uh, on is chat GPT plus worth it. It's become a very hot topic ever since the release of GPT 4.0. So what I'm doing in this example is I went ahead and said, I need you to be an expert in content creation, marketing, and repurposing content. If I provide a transcript for one of my YouTube videos about ChatGPT+, can you repurpose that video into the following? 1,000 word blog posts, five social media posts, an email for my weekly newsletter. Here is the YouTube transcript. And I went ahead and copy and pasted the YouTube transcript. So now I'm going to hit enter. And then what this is going to do is it's going to analyze my YouTube transcript and then help repurpose that into different forms of long form and short form content. So here's the blog post that I asked for. So it took this YouTube transcript and now it's creating an SEO optimized blog post based on what the details of the video were about. And so here is the SEO optimized blog post. And so I did talk about all these things. I talked about Copilot, Claude 3, Gemini, Llama 3 as alternatives to ChatGPT+, if you don't want to use it. I compared it to the previous models. And I also compared you know, or I talked about some of the new features of ChatGPT+. And now what it's doing is it's using this and generating social media posts like I asked it to. So here's a post for LinkedIn. It actually gave me five posts for LinkedIn. Gave me five separate posts for Facebook. And now what it's going to do is give me five separate tweets for Twitter. So all in the span of one prompt, it is now repurposing an entire YouTube video that I can go in and potentially copy and paste this, put it on my website, my social media channels, or however you want to distribute this content. Now, before you do that, I would not recommend you just paste this entire blog post onto your website copy and paste these word for word on your social media accounts, you probably need to tweak some things. But at the very least, this gives you an idea of where to start and you can then tweak it and add your own personal touch. Um, and it also did something for an email for a weekly newsletter like I asked it to. So if you have a weekly newsletter that you wanna send out every week, this gives you a good idea of what you can do based on the recent content that you created on YouTube. And again, I'm not recommending you copy and paste this. There's probably going to be some errors. And the last thing you want to do with your email audience is lose trust. So make sure that you add a personal touch to all of this content before you click the publish button. But that is the fourth chat GPT hack is using this tool to repurpose and redistribute content from long form to short form. So the fifth and final hack that I want to show you inside ChatGPT is one that I believe is very useful. And so here is the prompt example of this fifth hack. And what this is, is using ChatGPT as a virtual networking assistant. So the prompt reads as the following. You are an expert in networking, sales, copywriting, and digital marketing. Again, establishing that persona right at the beginning. I need you to be, in, I need you to be my virtual networking assistant. Excuse me. I'm on the job hunt and I'm looking to send connection requests on LinkedIn to professionals and my industry of digital marketing and need your help when sending requests include a personalized message introducing yourself and explain why you want to connect this helps build a more meaningful network 
Write me connection request messages that I can personalize and include icebreakers, be genuine, and include follow-up messages for reaching out. So I don't know about you guys, but when I was on the job hunt, this was a very, very important part of it. Being able to connect with people in your industry and trying to get your foot in the door versus just cold applying. This is a great tool that you can use to help get your foot in the door at a potential company. So here what it's doing is it's giving me drafts of connection request messages. Hi, name. So that's the placeholder. I came across your profile and noticed we share a strong interest in digital marketing. As a fellow marketing professional, I'd love to connect and discuss the latest trends in our field. Look forward to connecting. That's okay. I mean, it's not really giving me, it's not really telling him what I'm after. It says, hi, thank you for connecting. I'm excited to be part of your network, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, it's providing all sorts of examples here. And then it's giving me follow-up messages for no initial response. So if you don't get a response, which you probably won't from a lot of people, it's giving you ideas for follow-up messages. So uh, this is actually really cool. I didn't even notice this, but it gave me a couple templates here. Shared industry interest, mutual connections. So if we have mutual connections, this is an example that you could use for that. Admiration of work. If you want to flatter someone with their work that they've accomplished, you could use the template for that. Attended same event and webinar. That's a very good idea. So if you went to the same conference, event, webinar, um, you could throw that in there and try to connect that way. I've done that before. That works very well. Um, and then again, here's the follow-up responses. But uh, long story short, guys, you can leverage ChatGPT as a personal networking assistant because it's a very difficult thing to go and try to message someone on LinkedIn when you don't know them and try to convince them to connect with you or even give you time of the day to hop on a meeting or help you in any way if they don't know you. So again, that is the fifth and final hack is using ChatGPT as your personal networking assistant. So that's it, guys. Those are my five favorite chat GPT hacks or tips and tricks that I'm frequently using to improve my outputs in the tool. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel at AI Insider Tips, I would truly appreciate that as I spend hours putting videos together just like this one, trying to provide as much value and keep you informed in the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. Now, the last thing that I want to mention is I do have a free guide on the best AI side hustles that I've personally used myself to generate more than five thousand dollars of passive income online and if you want this free guide you can find it below in the video description or pinned comment again this is ryan i really appreciate you all being here and i hope you all have a great day